In iOS 14, SwiftUI gains a new property wrapper called at state object. Let's try it out here. If I say there's a new class called user that conforms to observable object, I might say there's one property via username, which is at two straws by default. Now to use that inside content view, prior to iOS 14, you'd have written code like this. At observed object via user equals a new user. And here in the body, you'd have written code like this, text username, colon, string interpolation, user.username, like that. And most of the time, that would work. That would work great. Sometimes that code would crash. And the problem is that SwiftUI is free to destroy and recreate its views whenever it wants to, because they're structs. They're extremely fast to create. That's the point of them. And so, maybe if you're four levels deep in a navigation view, it goes, huh, this thing's old, don't need that anymore. It'll toss it away and then recreate it later on. But what would happen is, if that happened to your view, this user would also be destroyed. And you'd lose that object. And also, it's the case that sometimes, this body property could start being run before the user's even been made. So this caused problems. It could cause your code to crash completely randomly, then work just fine otherwise. And so they've made a new property wrapper, at state object, like that. That's the only change to use it. It's really, really simple. But now SwiftUI guarantees that user will be made before the body property runs, and it will exist even if the view has been destroyed and recreated. It will always exist, which is really, really nice for just being guaranteed safe and correct. Now, the way to remember this is quite simple. When you say at state or at state object, the word state is in there. It is owned by your local view. Everything else, observable object, observed object even, environment, binding, and so forth, is owned somewhere else. So at state, owned by you. At that object owned by you. And if I'm creating it here inside my content view, I can then of course inject it into the environment or pass it in to somewhere else as a, a property when I'm initializing it, that also works. But if you're creating it first, you want to create it with at state object. This also applies if you're using the new uh, main file over here. You can use at state object here to create your data once and pass it into your content views from here.